the Alzheimer watch is going to see a sunny day. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, I think we had some sun with the clouds earlier today, Alora. Tomorrow it may be tough as we have a new weather system coming in, not just bringing with it some sprinkles and showers, but yeah, a lot of cloud cover too. Maybe a couple breaks of sun though. I don't think it's going to be a blue sky kind of day. All right, temperatures right now in case you're maybe heading out this evening, you're going somewhere for dinner or you're going for a walk with a dog in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's 63 here in Syracuse, at least at the airport, a little cooler by almost 10 degrees. Place like Cortland and Hamilton already down in the mid 50s. And I think our temperatures tonight are going to be doing something unusual. They're going to go down for a while and then they're going to go up more on that in a little bit. Right now, live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falso service experts. We don't have anything going on in the immediate Syracuse area, central New York. I am watching, though, some very faint returns on radar across the western and central Finger Lakes here. Some sprinkles at best. A lot of dry air down here at low levels, and that will evaporate, I think, a lot of the drops before they reach the ground. But maybe some will maybe hit you on the head or your windshield as you are driving out late tonight, perhaps. Now, the big picture here, the how and why behind our weather, high pressure that kept us nice and dry with some sun and clouds and more clouds and sun at times today, sliding south and east. Winds flow clockwise around it. We're going to get gentle winds right now, and eventually this area of low pressure to the west is going to bring in a southerly flow of air. You can see a lot of clouds out that way and not a lot of rain tonight out in Michigan, but I think as we have that system get closer, there will be some more wet weather returning. All right, I paused the model here at midnight or 1130. You can see how it says 49. I think we may briefly dip down below 50 and technically at midnight that could count as the morning low for tomorrow. And then with clouds overhead, we don't really radiate the heating of the day out in the space. So yes, our temperature may rise the 50s by tomorrow morning, sprinkles perhaps around when you wake up and then off on with the wet weather, light rain showers, maybe a moderate shower around midday and then it goes back to some sprinkles, another moderate shower and perhaps some late day breaks of sun right there for you. Temperatures overnight again, briefly getting down below 50 and then we go up towards the low mid 50s by sunrise. Chance of some sprinkles anywhere anytime. Otherwise a pretty quiet night. Next seven days you can see here 65 tomorrow with the off and on showers again, sprinkles to light rain. Then it stops maybe a moderate rain shower. Then it stops again. Monday light rain for sure as that system is still nearby 63. Tuesday we have lake effect rain for Buffalo and Watertown on a west southwest flow. We may not see much rain in Syracuse, maybe a couple showers, 63. Wind shift to northwest brings the lake effect rain into Syracuse, central New York. That day, 50s for highs. Same thing Thursday, but the sun's back out Thursday afternoon. A nice day Friday, 65. October 1st, next Saturday, and the Syracuse Orange play at home, high near 70. Now, right now in the CMY Central Mobile News app, I've got the weather story for tomorrow with the rain. Also, an update on the tropics with Ian. You can take a look at it, too, on our website, cnycentral.com, for both of those stories. Let's talk about Super Dirt Week.